One of the reasons I was so excited about coming to Carolina was, of course, its amazing research. But even in the last three years, we've seen a continued growth in that, and it's rising. It's made a phenomenal push in really important areas like biomedical, where it's a biomedical juggernaut. The Cancer Center is phenomenal. Big data, research, using all those numbers to find out ways to do things better. The arts, all of those have been really growing here, and I think it's because we've become a real innovation center with students, faculty, staff, the community all interested, and we've seen powerful results. This year, UNC Chapel Hill was sixth among all universities in its federal research dollars. We spend about a billion dollars that comes to us through grants and foundations on research every year. It creates about seven billion dollar asset to the state. Close to 100,000 people are employed through this. $70 million, for example, is sold through vendors that sell equipment and services to that research infrastructure. And one of my favorite pieces is that every lab is going to have an undergraduate or many undergraduates working as part of that innovation ecosystem. The examples are just deep and powerful. For example, our Nobel laureate, Dr. Aziz Sanjar, started almost 40 years ago looking at the way our own bodies repair mutations in our RNA and DNA. That research not only won the Nobel Prize, but it's completely transforming the way we do medicine. Then there are junior, just starting faculty that are working with using images to basically identify particular parts of a tumor that could be extracted to heal cancer. One of the really exciting developments that's happened here in the last couple of years was the, the real movement in pharmacy. It came together with the wonderful $100 million gift from Dr. Eshelman, but they built an innovation center within pharmacy, number one pharmacy school in the country. But what was great about that, it was an investment in the ideas that were risky. It was the thought that we have these amazing investigators that could think of many things to do and they're not always easy to get funded but it's often the riskiest idea that is going to be the one that pays off in the end. You see it in the School of Public Health, the highest funded School of Public Health in America. You see it in the medical school and it's this combination of years of hard work following an idea to its end and then throwing in those zingers, those exciting ideas that might pay off and investing in them to see if they can come to completion. That's where the biggest discoveries are made.